chosen ones where you are where you are chosen ones back with another powerful and productive video right great they are mad because it backfires yes karma strikes on them oh yes chosen one this is a real life story i'm about to share with you make sure you watch the entire video right great i'm telling you your enemies are facing their own karma what they did to you the evil they did to you the mishandle the mistreatment the um you know the betrayals the rejections the denial whatever evil that they did to you god the universe is making them pay for it i'm telling you chosen one right great there was this man you know who was very wealthy very rich i mean very affluent you know opulence you know this man has everything okay and this man has a mason friend okay like a contractor a mason friend who you know used to build for people and other stuff so this rich man i mean gave money a huge sum of money to the mason to build him a nice house right great so um as the man gave the money to the mason the mason decided to build the house but unfortunately as this mason was building the house he was using inferior materials he tried to the work that he was doing he did was just a shoddy work all right a work that you know he wasn't using expensive uh, materials and uh, equipment and tools to i mean do the work so that everything will look you know strong and fit so this man continued doing with this shoddy work this inferior using the inferior materials to i mean erect a very nice building and at the end of building everything this man went to the rich man and said to him i'm done with the work that you are you you've given to me all right and the rich man handed over the papers of the house and everything the keys to um the mason the rich man said to him oh this is your own house you know um i just wanted to i just wanted you to build something for yourself and you know the house that is there it is yours as for me i have my own um house already i have bought several houses already so i'm okay my wife and children we are okay with what we have i i'm just doing this to help you and since you are amazing yourself i just decide to give you the money to i mean build something all right great now boom as that happened the man started to regret the man regretted bitterly. He was like, oh, if I knew this is mine, I would have used the best materials in town. You know, I wouldn't have tried to cheat myself and other things. Chosen one. The moral of the story is a, 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 a honest person, okay? An honest person can never ever be cheated. If someone makes his or her mind to cheat you, they will only end up cheating themselves. I'm telling you, if they plan evil against you, that evil will backfire to them. To them, as you know, the man was trying to do evil to the rich man, not knowing that whatever he's doing is his. He's coming back to him. He's filling his account. He never knew that he was eating from his own account. He thought, oh, the rich man has it. So he was doing evil to the rich man, not knowing the rich man has good intention for him. But the mason has evil intention against the rich man all right and that is the same way your enemies their evil intention against you whatever they are doing to you it is coming back to them they are eating their own vomit they are eating their own pain their own whatever they did to you they are ripping a chosen one i'm telling you this is real this is not something false so my advice to you as a chosen one is continue to keep on maintaining your integrity people may try to cheat on you people may try to be disloyal to you people may try to be unfaithful to you people will try to take your love for granted people will try to i mean take your kindness to be your weakness and stuff but i tell you all that they are doing chosen one don't pay evil for evil okay 
don't pay evil for evil if you don't pay evil for evil and you pay evil with good that is an integrity on your part that is an integrity if at the end of the day chosen one you know uh they pull away from you they they they, they, they left you they betray you or whatever it is their lost and it is never your lost as a chosen one okay and i tell you they will definitely face whatever that they have done to you to con so continue to keep on maintaining high form of integrity it is for your for, for 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 your sake you are building a strong personality for yourself it is in you because you are do you are a good person it is in you to do good you see whatever evil men do lives after them okay um and whatever we do as people we are certainly going to reap what are we doing what are you doing are you the type that you know when people want you to do something for them you think they have it and you decide to cheat or you you decide to i mean a part with the money or part with the goods or part with the stuff right whatever you're doing god is watching you god sees everything i'm telling you if you are doing good god is seeing it if you are helping that old man there god is seeing it if you are helping that old woman there god is seeing it if you are helping the needy people god is seeing it if you are helping the physically challenged god is looking at whatever good thing that you are doing and if you do good you do unto yourself if you do bad you do unto yourself if you do evil you do unto yourself if you do good you do unto yourself as a chosen one okay so if people i mean they decide to um do evil to you I'm telling you, whatever evil that they do, Scripture says, whatever pit that the enemies have dug, they will fall into it themselves. Whatever trap that they've set for you, they will only end up catching themselves. They will only end up trapping themselves. I'm telling you, all right? Scripture says, in the presence of your enemies, a table is going to be set before you. If you are a person of integrity, if you are a good person and you don't think evil about people and you continue doing good to people, you don't hold grudges, you don't keep malice, you don't hold offense and you have a pure heart, a free spirit, the Lord God most high become your shield. The Lord God most high become your protector. The Lord God most high become your anchor. The Lord God most high will see you through. The Lord God most high will not let any evil before you he said thousands may fall on your right thousands may fall on your right on your left but none of these is going to touch you and your household chosen one if you will continue to keep on worshiping god in spirit and truth if you will continue to be for the lord to trust the lord to have absolute faith absolute trust in the lord i'm telling you the plans of the lord will be fulfilled in your life and not the evil of people the evil intention of people will only harm themselves whatever evil people are thinking towards you whatever hate whatever envy whatever jealousy they have towards you it it's only having effect on them negative effect on them it is only eating them up it's just that most people are ignorant about these things that karma is real and karma is going to strike at the right time at the appropriate time whatever evil that they are doing they are certainly going to reap whatever they are doing so chosen one don't let the evil intention the negativity the negativities from people i mean pollute you makes you an impure person make you on an unkind person all right keep doing you keep being your true and authentic self all right and i tell you everything that we're doing here on earth is a seed that we are sowing if a person is not happy it is as a result of what the person has been doing if you are not happy in life you are not content in life you are not okay in life check are there evil that you used to do were you doing evil before and refrain from such things because such things are only going to have effect on you i'm telling you if you are doing right you're gonna feel right if you are doing good you're gonna feel good if you are thinking right you're gonna feel right if you are thinking negative you're thinking evil you're never ever going to feel right you're never ever going to feel happy you see you reap what you sow as above so beneath as you know what goes up must surely come down as within so without and that is how it is these are universal laws and nothing can change it 
all right you can't be taking in poison and expecting somebody to lose his or her life it is you that you are taking it so it is you that it is going to have effect on you chosen one when we understand things that way you know if if people hurt us if people you know cause us pain and we will even be the first person to to say oh sorry never mind if somebody step on your toe you will not even retaliate with anger you will say oh okay sorry uh, because maybe in the first place you put your feet there and that is why the person stepped on it all right so you say sorry you're not retaliating with anger and you taking it easy it means you understand things in the spirit and you know that ah whatever that you do it's something that you do it for yourself if you do bad you do for yourself if you do good you do for yourself and the evil that people do for sure is going to leave after them all right that's it people that has, understand spirituality that are spiritual they don't i mean they are always quiet quiet they are always quiet they are always silent they are always peaceful they make sure they they, 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 they are peaceful with each other because they know the consequences of their actions and their inactions they know the consequences of their words and what they say what they confess they know the consequences of what they do to others all right so for this reason they are very mindful and very conscious in this life and that is how it is chosen one our enemies our haters they have no clue of these things if they are thinking evil they think oh they are doing it to you they're doing it to impair you but i tell you our god is a god that turns evil for good he did it for joseph joseph brothers protect evil against him you know but god turned whatever evil against him into good daniel daniel's enemies conspire against him plotted against him but god shared daniel god protected daniel god saw daniel through and the lions couldn't consume daniel all right so that is how it is and later those that plotted against daniel they were they were put in the lions then all right they couldn't even get to to, to the bottom of of, of 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 it and they were devoured by the lions all right that's it so the evil that people do will surely come after them if it seems to be delaying you see them and you feel like they are enjoying i'm telling you they are not enjoying whatever you do we're gonna rip it sooner or later if it is sooner good yeah you're gonna be pressed and multiply shaking and giving to you if it is later it's gonna come in compound interest and it's going to be pressed and multiply shaking and given to you back every seed that you put in here on earth is definitely going to be multiplied i'm telling you and that is how it is okay so they are devastated right now your enemies are devastated they are unhappy they are mad because whatever evil they thought against you has backfired it is now working against them it is now working against their children it is now working against their family it is now working against themselves all right and they are deeply regretting for doing what they did but that is not your problem it is their problem all right ignorance is the highest form of sin oh yes ignorance when we understand spirituality and we know that karma is real we we will relate with people in a nice way knowing that for sure whatever we're doing is a seed we sow it but many people are ignorant of such things they think oh they're gonna do this to you and they're gonna go scot-free they're gonna have their way out here yeah. but i tell you god is watching everything right and god will bring them to book i'm telling you right so leave everything to god vengeance is the lord okay god of vengeance is fighting your battles for you okay so who are you you are a winner man you are a winner woman right you will definitely win it may seem like they are winning today but i tell you later they will regret because it is about time just give it time and see whatever evil that they are doing to you they will rape it and whatever good that you are doing you will also rip it right that is how it is just once see you in my next video i'm out for now peace